Perhaps you've been questioning why you feel so solitary on your path. You could have experienced a falling out with longtime friends, or you may have lost touch with your relatives. It's not that you dislike them now, but it's almost like you don't genuinely desire to be in anyone's company. When you're with them, you experience an array of emotions. Everything simply feels off, and all you can think about is returning home to be alone. If this sounds familiar, there's nothing amiss with you. You're not passing up on anything at this moment. During your spiritual journey, being alone is necessary. Being alone requires immense courage, which is why so few individuals have been able to delve deep into their innermost selves. The journey is a solitary one, and meditation can prepare you for it. Through meditation, your loneliness can transform into aloneness, and your solitariness into solitude. This transformation is the magic of meditation, and there is a vast difference between loneliness and aloneness, and solitariness and solitude. Solitariness is negative and feels like a wound or a black hole inside you that causes pain. You want to cover it up, escape from it, or be with someone else to forget about it. Loneliness is the feeling of missing someone else, but aloneness is the enjoyment of being with oneself. The purpose of meditation is to transform negative feelings into positive ones, to turn misery into bliss. Once you have experienced the joy of being alone and the beauty of solitude, you can embrace the journey with joy. Each moment becomes more incredible and surprising, and the joy keeps growing. You may have thought you had reached the end, but there is always more to discover. As you move closer to your innermost self, your behavior towards others undergoes a transformation. You become more loving, compassionate, calm, and friendly. The negative traits like greed, anger, jealousy, and possessiveness become less prominent. It is like a blossoming of flowers, a song, and a dance in your life. When you reach the very center of your being, you attain the knowledge that is worth knowing. Knowing oneself is equivalent to knowing everything. The Supreme Self is the name of this innermost core, which is not the same as your ego-driven self. The ego disappears, and you are left behind on the outer edges. You are present, but in a new way, free from ego. This is the meaning of Supreme Self, experiencing one's being in an egoless state. Many of the beliefs and perceptions that you hold are not truly your own. Society, as well as friends and family, have influenced the way you think. Being isolated allows you to become aware of this and question why you think the way you do. You were not meant to follow the crowd, you have the potential to be a leader. However, your upbringing may have stifled this realization. Isolation allows you to go within and become aware of what's happening inside of you, which is the most important aspect of personal growth. When you're alone, you're forced to confront your problems and find solutions on your own. This process can be difficult because it involves reliving and releasing past traumas and changing thought patterns. However, the universe has given you this opportunity to create the life you desire by forcing you into isolation. Understand that change is necessary for you to become the person you want to be. A new life requires a new environment, new beliefs, new ways of thinking, and new ways of perceiving the world. These changes may be uncomfortable, but they're happening for you and will bring you closer to your desired future.
One reason you may encounter isolation during your spiritual journey is to reclaim and embody your spiritual energy. Often, we unwittingly give our energy away to others, and toxic individuals may drain us, leaving us feeling depleted and unworthy. Isolation provides an opportunity to take back our energy and break toxic energetic ties with people who may have taken advantage of us in the past, including friends or family. Many spiritual people grow up believing that they must give their energy away to gain acceptance, which can lead to people-pleasing and heightened empathic abilities. However, once we reclaim our energy and learn how to remain in control of it, we become incredibly powerful. Additionally, another reason for isolation on the spiritual journey may be that you are chosen. Many people go through their entire lives without discovering their true spiritual gift. The pain of healing during this journey is worth it, and the end result is invaluable. Some people will never attain the knowledge and experience that you will gain, including being present and feeling the love of the universe. You will learn to manifest, and ultimately you will experience the emotions that all humans crave, unconditional love and liberation from pain. It is essential to be grateful for the opportunity to have a spiritual awakening in this lifetime, as you are on the cusp of an incredible transformation. With the universe and God on your side, you have all the support you need. Throughout history, seekers have sought out solitude in order to face themselves. It is easier to do so alone, as relationships with others can become complicated when their problems and difficulties are also present. Your true nature is one of aloneness, but the habit of being part of a crowd has become so strong that you may be unaware of this nature. The fear of being alone arises from not knowing who you are if everyone were to leave you, as it is the opinions and perceptions of others that create your identity. You may find yourself physically alone, but you will discover a profound connection that will transform your life. This spiritual journey is about strengthening your relationship with the Divine, God, and the Universe. Through this process, you will connect with your true self and realize that you no longer require anyone else to feel complete. The emotions and feelings you once sought from others are already within you. You are love, and you will not need validation from anyone else. Your happiness and contentment will come from within. Standing alone, you will discover your incredible power and ability to manifest your desires. This knowledge comes to you during the darkest times of your life when you are alone. So, rather than questioning why you must go through this alone, embrace the opportunity to create the life you want. Pain and solitude are blessings that allow you to develop into a more powerful, conscious being. Do not give up on yourself, everything is working out for you, and you will be okay.